Super, super confident this summer. So thank you once again for all of your support. But for one last time this summer, I'll see you all in the next video. Liam here and welcome back to another video on my channel. It's been quite a while since I last said that. In actual fact, it's been almost 83 days since I uploaded my last video, which for most of you that were here previously in the summer watching my videos, you're probably wondering where have I been in this time? To put things simply about where I've been for that time, I forgot to take my computer up to university and that's how I edit most of my footage with videos. And just in general, to be honest, a lot of the work started to pick up and get quite busy in uni. So now that I'm home for Christmas, I thought it's a perfect time to bring the videos back. And it's a perfect time with me being home and having lots of new coaching opportunities and me to bring a lot of fresh new ideas to this channel. So since I've been gone, a lot of things have happened for me and around the world as well that are quite topical to talk about right now. So the first of those, obviously, is the fact that I have now started university. I've settled in properly into university in Birmingham. I'm living the city life there. And really because of COVID and all the restrictions that are in place, it obviously hasn't been the same start to university that most people have had previously to when COVID-19 was around, but I've still managed to settle in quite well, met a lot of new people, gained a lot of new opportunities, one of which is quite significant for me to talk about, that being academy football coaching. I was just starting tonight, actually, after I recorded this video, I'm gonna be traveling to my first session coaching an academy football team. That I've got to keep under wraps until I can actually confirm who that team is. But I cannot wait to hopefully release some content really sort of related to that team that I'm coaching and yeah, just add to all the new ideas that I've got for this channel. The second thing to mention is that yes, I did say there were gonna be a lot of new opportunities and new video ideas on this channel. Those including videos featuring new people with new ideas such as a potential podcast featuring some of my old friends and people who have also gone on to do similar things to me in creating their own content and sort of finding a, a passion for something they love. And also in general, just a lot of like new challenges because a lot of things in the summer were related to the fact that we were in lockdown and I was trying to find ideas for you all to take part in sessions at home by yourself. But now that we're starting to ease out with the restrictions, there's potentially a vaccine that's going to be handed out to people in the near future. I want to try and release stuff over Christmas that's a bit more personal to me in a sense of how I coach, but also then fun content as well. So there'll be a nice mix of sort of coaching related content and just sort of generally fun videos for you to watch. But yeah, the video releases are going to be quite similar to the summer and it should be around one a week. Usually the uploads will be on a Saturday or a Sunday because then that gives me all the time throughout the week to record the videos. Also editing obviously is quite a lengthy process. But now after the 14th of December, when I hand in my last assessment for university for this calendar year, I'll have all of my spare time up until mid to end January to focus on my coaching and doing these videos. So with this being the first video back, I thought I would just make an intro and tell you where I've been, what's been going on and where I plan on going in the future. But I didn't want to leave you empty handed for content with it being the first video back as well. Whilst I've been in university, I have been filmed and recorded twice doing a coaching session to my peers in my class. This session has been where I've been mic'd up with a mic on my neck and then I've also been recorded by a camera and I have to deliver a football session plan of around 10 minutes to a group of five or six students. This was a super fun experience for me because obviously when you're a coach you get viewed by parents and then obviously you have to coach the children or adults whoever you coach but it's quite a different experience when you're getting filmed because you know that that camera is following your every step but obviously you know me now if you've been watching this channel from the summer I've got a lot of coaching experience 
and I think that sort of helped me in the process of being recorded because yeah, it just gave me the extra bit of confidence knowing that I was being watched and it didn't really kind of disturb that process of sort of carrying out the session. So what I'm going to do after this intro is put in the very first recording of my coaching sessions so you can watch what I've been doing in university and get an idea for where I'm at with my coaching because obviously I've been doing a lot of learning whilst I'm there. I've met a lot of tutors and a lot of peers who have got great experience with coaching. My actual personal uni tutor is an A licensed coach which is perfect for me, you know, wanting to learn more about coaching. So yeah, it's just been a great learning experience for me so far and with this clip you will obviously see that I had a lot of fun doing this session it was really interesting to see how my participants and my classmates sort of adapted to that session. So yeah, now you're going to watch that clip but I will state this now, if you do like the video make sure to leave it a like, also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Obviously now over the next few weeks there's going to be a lot of videos to make up for lost time and I hope to bring as much fun and engaging content for you as possible. So I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you at the end. Okay, over to well. Josh. Alright, we go then boys. Here we come. How are we? We all good? Yeah. Nice one. So today's session we're going to be focusing on passing and movement, okay? main thing in football, one of the main key components is passing, but movement obviously sometimes, especially in youth ball, can go unseen. Quick question, what do you think is more important, passing or movement off the ball? Movement off the ball, anyone else? Yeah, about the same, perfect, okay. There is literally no difference between the importance of both, okay. Movement off the ball is just as important as the pass itself, okay. In any age group, any level of football, okay. If the players off the ball can't move from the player on the ball, okay, no pass available. So that's what we're going to focus on today, is putting both of those components together, okay. So, just so you see this area here, this is the area we're working in first. There's going to be no defenders involved, it's going to be open player working on that movement off the ball as well. It's going to be one ball involved for the five players. First thing I need is for you to number yourselves one to five. You do that between yourselves and then we'll get straight into it. Easy. All good, so here we come to the area then, spread yourselves out around the area. Who was number one? Put your hand up for me quickly. So it's the number one's going to start with the ball, okay? Reason there's quite a bit of space in this area, okay, so I want to see that movement off the ball. All it's going to be to start with is we're going to be moving the ball around the area, passing the ball, and then moving after we pass. But we're going to be doing it in number order, okay? So it's just getting you thinking a bit more, especially with that communication as well in the game, going between the players and knowing who you're working with, okay? So, number two. Go up, number three. Who's number three? Perfect, okay, so it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. We're going to keep working. So once it gets to number five, it's going to come straight back to number one. So working in that number order. And all I want to see, good bit amount of talking, okay, you should know each other's names. Also that movement off the ball. So as soon as you've made your pass, we're going to try and look to move off the ball and find an expert space, okay? Work for a few minutes. If we spot anything that we talk about, or if you see anything yourselves, make sure you remember so we can bring it up in our break. Ready? Let's play. Make sure they start talking as well, moving, good. And good lad, well done, good. Good lad. Good, love that, good talking. Good, find that space when moving it. Whoops, alright, keep going, keep going, put it back in place, straight in, let's go. Good, well done. Well done, good. Love that, well done. Good lad, well done, keep moving that ball. Good. And stop there for me. Good, how do you find that? Good. Pretty easy? All right, all good. All we're going to do, add a little bit of a twist to it, we're going to go in reverse order, okay? We'll go five, four, three, two, one, okay? Just have a little thing between yourselves where that ball's going to move, obviously it's exactly the same thing. Keep that ball moving, always on the move, always looking for that ball. Ready, let's play. Good, love that, well done. Make sure you can hear each other, Just keep talking, good. Well done, good movement like that, well done. Good lad. Good stuff, well done. Unlucky, oh, keep that ball, back in play we go. Ready, let's play. Good. Well done, good. 
good. Oh, lucky, keep going, keep playing, keep playing. Good. Well done, good movement, I like that, off the ball, well done. Good, and just stop there for me quickly. Good stuff. All right, there's one little thing I want to pick up on, especially when we're receiving the ball, looking to find that space. We're going to do two separate things now. We're going to act as if I'm in the play, okay? I want you to tell me what's different about it. So if you just start with the ball, if I know if my next player is behind me, what's the difference if I start like this and receive the ball? Where, what can I not see now? Player, good, exactly. So if we want to receive the ball and take as little amount of touches as possible, what should I do then to be able to see that player? Open up, fantastic, okay? So same again, if I open myself up, I can take that first touch out my feet and the player's there. Minimizes the amount of touches we're taking, keeps that play moving quickly, okay? So we're gonna go back to our one, two, three, four, five, starting from number one, okay? All I wanna see now is a little bit more awareness off the ball, okay? Just so we can minimize those touches again and we can move that ball quicker, okay? Ready, let's play. Good, like that, open your body, good, well done. Open up, good, well done. Keep talking as well, be as loud as you can. Well done, better, good. Good, well done. Like that little twitch a little bit. It's got a little bit quiet, can we keep talking, keep talking to each other? Good, remember your order, there we go, back to it, good. <laughs> Sorry, keep going, keep going. Well done, fantastic that. Looking to receive it, good. Always want the ball, looking for the ball, good. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Fantastic, okay. One little thing to talk about there, fantastic, okay. We wanted to implement that touch off the ball, opening ourselves up, fantastic, okay. Now we're going to do is a bit of a defender, a bit of an opposing play, okay. We're going to add one bib into it. We got any volunteers? Love that, straight in, all right. All it's going to be now, okay, if you want to put that bib on for me, it's going to be a 4v1 play, okay, in possession, okay? The team in possession with no bibs, okay, you've got a massive overload, 4v1. So all we're going to look to do is implement what we've just learned then, opening ourselves up, lots of talking, and always looking to move off the ball, okay? If one of the possession players loses the ball, defender, you join the possession team. Player who lost the ball, you then are a defender, okay? Yeah, you give your bib to him, perfect, okay? Exactly the same, what loads are talking, look to use all the space with this overload, see if we can keep the ball for as long as we can. Ready, let's play. Straight in, good lad, well done. Good, always moving, still in, keep playing. Good, like this movement here, fantastic. Oh, it's gone out, I think, lad in the navy shirt, do you wanna swap? Right behind you, I think he lost it first, wait for him to put his bib on. When we're ready, we'll play, let's play. Good, well done. Good. Well done. Good turn like that, good. Keep moving here, can we find the space? Fantastic. Good. Oh, unlucky, that's all right, it's good, well done. Can we swap here now, swap bibs? Play from here. Ready, off you go. Yeah, first pass. Good, oh, lucky, swap over here. Okay, just a little thing before we start, okay? When we're about that talking, okay, even when we're trying to move on the ball, for the possession team, we want to try and look if we can talk to each other so we know where we are, okay? Especially good for the player on the ball, if he knows where the option is, he can then play it quicker. Ready? Off we go. Yep. Good. There we go. Like that's better. Well done. Oh, no, oh, lucky. Swap here to a handy bib to him. Off we go. Good. Yeah, unlucky, unlucky, unlucky. Pass it over. We're straight back into it. We've got the ball. Ready, off we go, straight in, good. Like that, superb, oh, it's gone. Swap here, ready, it's good so far boys, well done, let's go. Keep working, good, well done. Good, that's better, well done. Good movement here, can you find the space, superb, well done. Where's your next move now, where's your next move, good, unlucky. Much better that, well done. Good, here we go. Where's your next move now? Good. Always looking for the ball. Unlucky? Don't mind that. Can we swap over? Table for the team. Well done. Last bit of play off we go. Good. Well done. Keep going. Good stuff. Where's your space? Where's your space? Don't mind that. Good. Can we get the ball back down? Look to play. Superb. Well done. 
stop there for me, okay? Good. One quick question, I'll ask you. Do you think there is enough space? Yeah, I think it needs to be bigger. No? Okay. Good thing it is about you saying that is we're in a small area and we're still managing to find the space, okay? What we're going to do now is just a slight little regression because I want to just test to see how we do with a bit more space, okay? It's good you're recognizing we're able to play in this space and we're still managing to find the space when we're not on the ball, okay? But now we're going to make it a little bit harder for the defender, try and find a bit more success in that possession, okay? So Josh, if you just grab that for me, I'll grab this one. All we're going to do, make this area bigger, we're going to the first white line, okay? For the players who are on the ball now on the possession team, all we're looking to use, do now is just utilise the extra space, okay? For the defending player, this is going to become harder, but we're just trying to find that success in that passing, okay? I want you to try and keep talking when we're not on the ball, always looking for that space, and remember, like I said, when we're looking to receive, let's open ourselves up for the next player, okay? Ready? Let's play! Good, well done, find your space now. Good stuff, well done. Good. Oh, lucky. Who's in? Try to get the megs off. Don't mind that. Try to redeem yourself. Don't mind it. Let's play again. First pass is free. Good. Good stuff. Where's your next move now? Fantastic. Find the space. Unlucky. Ball back in. Let's play. Good. Good lad. Well done. Where's your space now? Can you find that space? Good. Looking for the ball. Fantastic. Good. Where's your next move now? Well done. Good. Well done. Good talking over there. I like that. He's got time. Well done. Good. Move. Fantastic. Well done. Oh, he's going for it. Just stop there for me quickly. Just want to make a quick little point. Who was it? I heard someone say time. You. Fantastic, okay? That's that bit of communication I'm always looking for, okay? For the player who's got the ball, it's crucial that they know who's around them and when they need to play, okay? Just that one word, it's literally a second, split second thought, the same time, that can make the difference in keeping that possession moving, okay? So now we're going to look to continue that play. I want to see a bit more talking like that to hopefully keep the ball a bit more, okay? Ready when we play? Off we go. Good. Yeah. Here you go, good talking, well done. Look for the ball again. How can you get on it now? Find the space, good, well done. Good, back foot, receive, like it. Well done. Good. Good turn, well done. Work that defending player, make the ball do the work. Move off the ball, good. Well done. Where's that move now? We find the space here again, well done, good. A lucky ball's out. Last play this, off you go. Good. Well done. Good, well done. Good, well done. Five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic, okay. We've got one minute left, so it's gonna add one little challenge for you, okay? We're gonna do two touch max, okay? What we're seeing now, the progression throughout the session so far, we've seen good amount of movement off the ball, we're starting to minimize the amount of touches we're taking, and then we're also doing the movement off the ball whilst we're talking, okay? So all we're gonna do now is two touch max. All that means is, because the player on the ball has less time to find their pass, we're gonna to need to move a bit quicker, okay? Always look to find those little pockets of space. Ready? Let's play. Two touch max, let's see if we can move that ball quickly. Unlucky, don't mind that. First pass is free. Ready, let's play. Good. Move off the ball. Well done. Good press, I like that. Well done. First pass is free, off we go. Let's look to move off the ball, well done. Good, that's better, don't mind it, unlucky. It's a hard adjustment, okay, this is why it's a challenge for you. Off we go. Good, look to move off the ball. Good, well done. Oh, don't mind that, can we keep in, can we keep in? Good, superb, well done, fantastic. Keep talking, can we keep talking off the ball? Good, don't mind that, unlucky. 30 seconds left, let's see how many passes we can get in. Let's work that defender. Off we go, good. Can we move off the ball here, where's your space now? Good. Find that space, superb. Don't mind that, good press defender. Last play this. Make it a good one, off we go, good. Can we keep that ball? Always talking, let him know you're there. Unlucky. Right, that's it. Bring it in real quick so we have a little brief. Superb, just put the bib on the floor. All good. So, what do we think of that? Good, good yeah. 
Did we find progressions from the start of the session? Yeah, okay. Definitely bringing in that little implementation of when we get the ball on the back foot, okay. We found a lot more talk in the session progressed. And even when we opened up the space, or even when the space was small, okay, we were still managing to find that space. And the little bits of talking, that was helping us progress the play. Okay, all done, all good. So there it is, that is the video of my first session in university being recorded. That was the first of two sessions that have been recorded. My plan to do is hopefully do maybe a separate video where I actually analyze the video itself or I watch it alongside you and sort of analyze my process of coaching. What I'll probably do is I'll analyze the second video because it'll be something new for you to watch as well. But yeah, all you can see there is a very short session with it being sort of an assessment plan. It could only be 10 minutes long. So obviously as a coach, I don't like to have done a longer session, but I managed to fit in a good amount of content in that 10 minutes. You saw a bit of an introduction, a bit of discussion with the participants where I asked them a question and that was taken into the topic of the session. We started off in an unopposed environment where they were sort of able to ease into the topics of passing and receiving. And then we challenged them by putting a defender in and making it a bit of a possession game. So obviously there's more I would like to do with that and spend more time on it. But with it only being 10 minutes now, it was just about as much as I could do. But yeah, the session went really well. The feedback from my tutor was also fantastic, which obviously for me as a coach, it's great to always have feedback because I'm sure for any of you other coaches that are watching this, you always love to get feedback because it just helps you progress as a coach. But yeah, it's going to be interesting for me to continue trying to progress as a coach in university. Now obviously getting that academy experience as well, it's no doubt going to just further progress my ability and my skills and also just my confidence as well. Obviously I've got a lot of confidence already from the amount of coaching I've done, but there's no doubt I can take that even further. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed to see what I've been getting up to in my spare time at uni and now that I'm home, I'm super, super excited to get all of this content released for you. So again, Make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll also leave a link to my social medias in the description down below where I'll be releasing a lot of photos and videos of other things that I'm getting up to in my spare time. Also, potentially some sneak peeks at other videos. But again, make sure you're staying engaged with the content on my channel because no doubt there's going to be a lot of fun and engaging videos released over the Christmas period. It's great to see you all again and I'll see you all in the next video.